Uh, hi guys, we're here on Starlight of Finals with um, the player of uh, Team Imaginary from France. Uh, also, he played for Millennium and uh, Rare Games before that, and a uh, really big star in the Counter Strike Source scene. Shoxi, Richard Shoxi Papillon, say hi to our viewers. Hi, everyone. Uh, hi, uh, Shoxi. So, um, I have a few questions for you. First of all, uh, is that your first time in Ukraine? How would you like the? How would you like the our country? How would you like our city and uh, the event? So yes, it's the first time for me uh, to come in this country. Uh, I think this country is too cold for me. Really, I don't like that. I need the uh, summer and sunshine and everything you want. Um, I so I don't know about the city because I didn't have the time to to visit it simply. Uh, and for the event, I think it's a, it's a good event, but uh, the fact is we still have some delays, uh, even if we have uh, really not really a lot of match. So for me, it's yeah, it's not very cool. And also the the place the place is great. Computers, monitors, all everything are great, and the all admins are really cool. So no problem. But uh, I think it's not a good idea to have an event like this on four days. Four days. Yeah, one match per day is not enough. Uh, so you have two choices. Uh, you can qualify eight teams and not four, so you have mm -hmm. more match. Mm -hmm. Or uh, take, uh, make the competition on only two days. Yeah. But to have more match and to be faster, etc. Because play me or even all striker or all player or... Some of the players, we, we, we are working in France, so we have to take days uh, days about off. our company, yeah, days off for our company. And to take two days off for one match per day, yeah, it's, it's not very cool for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, at least you're honest. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, so coming to what actually happened in our championship. Yeah, you lost to Virtus Pro and that was your final match. Uh, um, do you think, like spectacular performances by Angel and Fox did it? Or um, maybe you lacked, uh, what, what did you lack and why do you think you lost that match? Uh, about their players, to be honest, uh, I, I don't take care of this. I, I'm not looking at the scoreboard, uh, who is very really hot or not. I don't care, I'm just focusing uh, on the team and on the match. And I think we really had a, a great game on this two. We were really confident and it, it was cool. Uh, then we switched to Mirage, uh, it was their map, yeah, we were not really good on it, uh, so it was not a surprise for us, we played really badly, and so, yeah, we just lost this map and take, okay, no problem, let's go in Inferno, uh, we were really confident about this map, mm. and then Inferno, here we go, we take the gun run, uh, the first uh, army run, but then we got Ikori Z, mm -hmm. and yeah, it was really bad. But finally, we won the side uh, eight to seven. Even if we had a lot of mistakes, we could really easier take maybe eleven or twelve or twelve run. But never mind, uh, eight seven, we we still can do it, do this. Yeah. But then we lost the gun run. Uh, and we lost the first round army, so it's already, I think, 11 to 8 for, th for them, something like that. And they were, they were really pushing us, pushing us early on all the map. And we, didn't, we never played a team like this on internet in our practice. Mm. So we were not prepared for, for this. And yeah, so we didn't know what to do with them. But now we know what do we have to work to, to not lose a game like this. Yeah. Uh, but do you think you lacked a little bit of team play, or do um, you think that their performances was just like better on the map uh, by players? Do you think they won as a team, or like some performances uh, of their players did it? No, they really, they really won it uh, as a team. As a team. Yeah. Um, so moving on to um, to your team and like to yourself at first. Um, how do you practice? How much? Uh, how much hours per day? Like, do you <coughs> uh, do you spend practicing uh, for events? Like, maybe before the event, how much do you boot camp with your team? Uh, and um, tell us something. One of you was actually asked about your. Do you think your form was better when you played uh, Counter Strike? Um, 
your performance? It was better when you played Source uh, for War Games, or now in CS:GO you feel actually quite confident? But like, first tell us how much do you practice, and then uh, what do you think about your performance on like in Source and on kind of strike level? So first about our practice, we can't bootcamp because me, a striker, and some players got work, so we can't take too many days off because we already take it for lands. Mm. So <coughs> sorry. At the moment, we can't boot camp, uh, even if we w we want to do this. So before the event, we are practicing since uh, 7 p.m. to 12, mm -hmm. uh, five days per week. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it. Uh, for my performance, uh, I don't know. If, yeah, it was good on source, but I think I'm still good on go. I just need more events, more lands. It's a new game for everyone, and mm. maybe Nip are really awesome at the moment, but they, they just made every lands, every lands. And I made uh, three lands on CS Go, one small line in France, uh, one qualifier for ESWC in France, mm. and this. So it's not, it's not enough. I, I need really more experience on this game. I need to learn more, ab learn more about all the teams because it's not, uh, it's not the same gameplay. Uh, teams moving from 1.6 don't have the really don't have the same, I don't know the the same game as our source players. Mm -hmm. And so it's yeah, it's difficult. It's new. All is new. Uh, even if uh, it's since four months, it's still new. And yeah, I think we just need time. I I'm not. Worst, or I was not better on CSS. If I am honest, it's just the the CSS level was under the CSGO level. So of mm -hmm. course, uh, it's harder than me, and I'm doing all what I can. Uh, <clears throat> about your team, do you think uh, we've seen actually quite a spectacular performance by Scream on this land? Uh, a lot of people wanted to see him actually perform on LAN after his online performance and all, after all his highlights from previous LANs. Uh, do you think he uh, <coughs> catched up to CSGO uh, faster than the rest of the team? And what, what do you think about his future uh, as a CSGO player? Would he be a new star of CSGO over a French scene? Uh, so first, he's not French, he's yeah, Belgium. Uh, for his performance, yeah, he was growing up really faster than us, I think. It's clearly it's true. Uh, but I knew that. I played with him since more than one year. And because, you know, his, his game style is only one bullet, one bullet. Mm -hmm. And on CSGO, it's, it's more easier, I think. It's not, I mean, the skin are... I'm not fast as through, so you you take you don't take many flashes or whatever. So yeah, it's I knew when the game was uh, when the game came up. Yeah, when the game came up, that he will be amazing. So I'm not surprised. And for the future, yeah, he, he will be a star. I, I know for sure. He, he got everything. He got. Uh, he just need I think really more experience and maybe. I'm trying to help him uh, as much as I can with mm -hmm. all my experience from Source, but I think I can do an Ostriker now from in point six. The only thing I can say to him now is don't take the big head, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, stay, yeah, stay home. He already has uh, Dark King in his name, so like maybe maybe he shouldn't think of himself as a king. For too too much. Yeah, maybe I, I don't know. It's maybe for fun. I never asked him, so I don't know. Yeah. But I think he just have to stay how he is mm -hmm. and to to continue to listen to me and Ostraka if you want to growing up. I uh, I know he's already on a top level, but he can really be again better. I I know this. He mm -hmm. he can do uh, again better. Okay. Um, can you tell us a few words about the French Counter Strike scene at the moment? Uh, CSGO, of course. Um, what are your relationships with uh, Weary Games and Millennium, uh, the organization and the players that are playing there right now? And uh, do you think that we'll see some French teams that will be mixed between uh, current uh, CS teams to form, form uh, a French star team of CSGO? Uh, or do you think the things will stay the same and a few teams will try to make their way? Uh, I don't know. So first, uh, our relations are are okay with very games. 
we don't really love them, but we don't hate them. It, it depends. Uh, mm -hmm. We hate some players, but we love some others, so mm -hmm. it's uh, quite complicated. Uh, about this, the organization, uh, I had some personally some problems in the past with mm -hmm. them, but at the moment it's uh, it's okay. I don't have any more problems, and I feel I feel okay with them. Uh, and then we have extensive, extensive. Uh, we don't have, we don't have uh, contact with the organization, so nothing. And for the players, they were really good mates. Uh, they were friends at uh, ESWC, uh, French California, we were really, yeah, we had some fun with them and it was pretty cool, but then they, they tried two or three times to take uh, our scream. Mm -hmm. So since that, we just hate them and mm -hmm. we just want to, to rape them. And after it, just a few teams. I think it's uh, we are the three principal teams in, in France. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, who do you think has the most? Um, who do you think is the future of the French CS scene? You or uh, maybe maybe you, some runner-ups are like pretty looking pretty strong right now, like at a competitive level. Yeah, course. I think extensive for first. Uh, they are not bad, and in international event or whatever. You can make, they can take some wins, but they, for me, they will never win a land, mm -hmm. an international land, I'm sure. They can maybe make top eight, top six, something like this. But uh, with all teams growing up from 1.6, I don't see them better. Mm -hmm. uh, about us, we had a lot of discussion about this event because. Uh, to lose 16-1 uh, against CSC, it was work. Now it takes some time, maybe since the beginning of the team, mm -hmm. but we just now reali realize that this, and maybe it's late, but I think it's better that it's late than it's never. So I'm pretty confident for the future. We just need to work. And for the very games, uh, I think they will, I don't know, I saw the existence interview and when he talk, you you can, yeah, they will work harder, they will be better. Uh, I don't know if they can beat Nip or whatever. If, to be honest, at the moment, I don't know. But the fact is, they will stay in the in the top level of international event uh, for sure. Uh, thank you. Uh, talking about Nip, they think uh, who will be the first CSGO scene that will actually beat them. To be honest, uh, if if the if scene go coming uh, growing like this, I think it will be a team from 1.6. Mm -hmm. I don't know who. We saw that ESC is yes. is really 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 improve, improving their level uh, in a really few times. So mm -hmm. it's really imp impressive. And so if Navi do like this, it yeah. can be really fast, really. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I think we just have to wait the next event. Yeah. So you don't think that NIP is actually as strong as they was in the previous event, like ESVC? Uh, do you think that, like, on the next event, there will be much more competition for them? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure uh, that uh, they, have, they are really on the top level. But uh, you know, they win, they win, they win, and I'm sure they will lose one time. Lose. They will yeah. still be on top level, they can win the next event after or whatever, but yeah, they will lose for sure because every team and every players are really working working hard on, on the on the game. Uh, that was NIP was were doing at in May. Mm -hmm. So they got a lot, a lot of um, they were already before before us, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so now teams said okay they are like this, they were killed up really, really hard. We need to do the same, and that's what is, is coming. And I think in a few months we will, we will have a, an event uh, as 1.6 before. You don't know who's going to win. Uh, do you think that Star Ladder that actually hosted uh, one of the first major competitions in C uh, CS Global Offensive, do you think that's a push for CS scene as well? Because uh, <coughs> Stalada is a seasonal thing, so every season we will have land finals and see some matches as we saw like the previous days. Do you think that that will boost the competition a little bit more? 
because uh, teams have league to play online and then a chance to come to arena and like play online and everything like that. <clears throat> so what do you think about Stellado and is it a move for a CS uh, goal? I think if Stellado wants want to really improve to mm -hmm. grow up, yeah, yeah. Uh, they don't have to make an online tournament. Really, it's it has no sense because on internet, uh, really, it's it's never the same as on LAN. Yeah, yeah, so I think, and they can do it, uh, really, because uh, I see some work behind, you know, mm -hmm. with some other PCs or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So maybe we got some other place or just private private the place for a real tournament yeah. with something like sixteen teams who are invited. Yeah. And make a real tournament, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I yes. think if you c you can do this, you have the cash prize, you have the place, uh, you have the notoriety because a lot of stream, a lot of viewers. Yeah. So I think yeah, you can do it. Just don't make an online tournament. Just invite sixteen teams and make, and make a, a major yeah. land. Yeah, really. Okay. Okay. Maybe that's the way to go. Uh, so. Closing up, uh, do you have a few words for your viewers, someone you want to say hi to, a few shoutcasts for your friends? Yeah, of course. Uh, first, thanks Imagine Your Gaming, and especially Frank, uh, who sent us here. Mm, thanks you for the interview. Yeah. Thanks all admins for being cool with us. Uh, for you for going our taxis uh, or whatever to searching uh, us at the airport or whatever. I made sure that you, you will be uh, al alive in the Ukraine. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Thanks everyone. And thanks uh, all people who are behind me and behind my team. And I, I'm, it's, it's pretty really cool for, for me to see all these people uh, behind us. And we will try to do better this ta next time because for us, yeah, of course, we are disappointed for us, but w w yeah, it's really a shame to to disappoint our supporters, you know. Yeah, yeah. So we'll try to, to do better. I know we always do, we always say this, but for my part, uh, I really think about this. So you'll have the motivation now to keep on and like uh, work more in your team and win some lands. Maybe next time, other will be yours. So, okay, man. Thank you for the interview and have a good luck for the rest of the remaining time on this tournament and in life in general. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Подробности на сайте Dota 2 Starladder TV. Главный технологический партнер корпорации Intel. Генеральный партнер компании Asus. Игровой центр Киев Киберспорт Арена.